What's up A-listers and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to be going over the Monster Hunter World CC Studio. Going over the features, updates that I've gone through that uh, you may still have questions on that I posted in the descriptions uh, and some other items that are probably not as explicit. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sign in. And as we sign in, uh, we want to make sure that we have the latest config file updated. Um, I'll leave a description down below uh, where you can get the key codes that are mapped to your keyboard. So if we go through here, you can see my config.json file. <clears throat> here we have, you know, camera move left, right. And these numbers, the one, 100, which is number four, 102, number six, they're basically part of the numpad that I have on here. So let's say that if you don't have a 10 key in your keyboard, you can basically, um, you know, map it to any key you want. And that's, that's what's nice about the flexibility of the JSON file. So I'm going to post myself over here uh, just so we can check out the first thing on the agenda. And we can see on here that on my CC Studio, it's all grayed out. That means I need to scan. So uh, it's typically best to scan when you're in a stage like this you know, the beginning stages or the ending stages. I'm actually going to go to um, Estera because I kind of kind of don't want to listen to this kind of music, at least for now. <clears throat> and once my stage is fully loaded, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to begin the scan. The scan doesn't take too long, which is great. before I had it scan while you're opening it. And now you can just open it up, wait till you're in the stage, and then uh, you can always restart the process, which is great for me. I know it's a great multi times, but yeah, anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and scan. Look how beautiful the night sky is. I think it's lovely. All right, cool. So now that we're here, just going through, uh, we can see here we got dawn, the day, dusk, night, and then this locks the the camera in place so you can see that the timer will stop this just means that it's set to that certain time and then we can do real time um, you know like when I'm doing it here it'll show you know it's 2330 and the time will update exactly to my system clock here so um, we can go here get do dawn daylight dusk nighttime and then on here, um, we're going to see, you know, we can change the minutes, we can change the hours. But on these two, this is basically the uh, lapse time for the daytime, the first one. And this is the lapse time for the nighttime. And if we go in here and we set it to, let's say, 10, I'm going to change both of them to 10. Oops, sorry. You can see here that the cycle of the sun and the moon are going pretty quickly. So it's basically taking 10 seconds for it to be daytime and then 10 seconds for it to be nighttime. And you can you can obviously make it go faster if you'd like. So say if like I want to do it five seconds a piece, I can. If I want to go crazy, I can do it three seconds a piece. I'm going to go ahead and set it back to 1800 for the daytime and 1200 for the nighttime. So uh, the next part is the, the weather. And what's nice about the weather is you can control it before you go to the next stage. Unfortunately, Monster Hunter World isn't dynamic or doesn't have dynamic weather. So you can't just change the weather in an instance while you're in a stage. It gets preloaded. So we can see here we have <clears throat> the weather here is unknown and basically it's just it's mostly because Vulcana's here, and Vulcana is an elder dragon. Ancient forest, right now it's clear. Great. So if we go there, it should be sunny. Same thing with uh, the Wildspire Waste. It should be sunny. Um, Black Veil Valhazak, elder dragon. So it's unknown. Clear. Great. Clear. Clear. Cool. So let's say that we want to change this one to rain for the ancient forest. We go back to our UI. In here, um, it's either a one or a two. There's no zero. So one would be clear, and then two, and if you highlight over it, you can see the, the tooltip 
you can't see it on OBS, but if you highlight over it, uh, I explain that one is clear weather, and then two is either rain for ancient forests, acid rain for you know like coral highlands, or not the coral highlands, sorry, rotten vale, um, sandstorm for wildfire waste, turbulence for coral highlands, and blizzard for uh, hoarfrost reach. So we're going to go ahead and set it to two for the ancient forest, and we're going to head there now. Um, well, it's like if you guys are having issues with CC Studios not necessarily working, uh, it's, mm, I would try to avoid plugins that use the same camera pointers. Like there's a field of view camera pointer. There's a camera settings, um, mod that could conflict with CC Studios. So any other camera mods will definitely conflict with this. Um, I know my plugin doesn't, I just basically look over uh, the same pointers. Alright, so now that we're here, we see that it's raining. It's great. Let's uh, talk about Monster Cam. Monster Cam, there's no, there's no indication in the UI, but if I select on it now to change to Monster Cam, mine is set to F11 if I select it now. It shouldn't show anything right now. That's a flashy screen. Flashy screen. Sorry for those. Um, and then we can see here that uh, it's pointing to something in the middle of the map. I'm going to go ahead and go back. So now, back here, we need to do a rescan. So uh, there's there's slots for three monsters. So if you hit it once, it'll be monster one. Hit it twice, monster two. Hit it three times, monster three. If there is no monster 2 and 3, you just need to click on it until you go back to the character or go back to the monster that you wanted. So I'm going to rescan here. So it's process uh, start rescan. Now that I'm here, I'm going to hit F11. And then now I have Nargakuga, which is great. Hit F11 again. And now I have Rath, Rathian. And he, oh, sorry, Azure Rathalos. And I have no idea what he's doing. He looks like he's stuck. Uh, yeah, no idea. It's freaking out. And then I have Ebony Odogaron. Cool. So those are my monsters. It's great. So now I know where they're at. Um, next up, we can go through the uh, camera functions. So basically, I, I have camera speed so we can you know, mess around with the camera, just go as fast, uh, as fast as you want. Right now I have it set to 10 as default, but you can make it really slow if you wanted to. So if you want to, you know, pan over your character, I can either do it as one, which I have right now, and then I can just basically go through. If I want to zoom in, make it look natural. But what I could also do is I can make it, you know, less than one. So if I want to do like 0.5, give it a more smooth panoramic, you know, shot as zooming in, which is great. <clears throat> and then if you want to, you know, go through and just explore the map, you can do that as well. Just quickly go to somewhere new somewhere you haven't been before, check out this little cool place. That looks awesome. And go back. Uh, I have my my decimal point set to three for perspective cam. I can basically change the perspective of how I want and you know continue playing like this. I can move the camera up a little bit so it looks like I'm playing like a Dota game, you know. It's cool. Um, and then three is just basically your config file overrides for the camera settings. Um, and then we have the 
the time cycle of the game it's basically the main game engine and right now I have it set to 50% so my F10 button if I do it, it looks like I'm going in slow motion it's great for some slow motion videos if you'd like uh, we can even go to zero and if we go to zero uh, let me change this real quick if we go to zero and I say I bust out my I can freeze time take a cool little snapshot and uh, yeah go from there Let's see, I'm going to change my back to 50. Cool. Um, and then the last feature is actually a pseudo wetness, which, which we kind of see right here. So we're going to go to the Wildspire Waste. Uh, oof, I want to go to the Wildspire Waste, but Teos was there. Let's see. Let's go to... Mm -hmm. Should we go here? Should we go here? I don't know. Let's go here. It might look good. It might not. Ah, these low times. <laughs> I don't miss them. That's what you get, right, for having HD. All right. I think I'm going to go up top. I don't know, it might give us the best color. Maybe. Hopefully you guys don't get sick here. Oop. All right, so now that we're here, um, we're going to go through and you can see we have blend, which is the wet blend. We have the roughness, which basically gives us like the shiny wetness look. So I'm going to go ahead and both turn both of these on. And when you turn them off, they'll reset. So right now the roughness is set to one and the best way to check to see the wetness, I just set it to one. And you can see everything's a little darker and it appears that in here, I don't have my... Yeah, it doesn't appear I have my um, raining drops. Interesting. So, right now the wetness is set to 1 for the blend. And then if I change my roughness, you can see there's a little bit of shininess to it. Actually, it might be best if we go to a different spot. This is This is not good. I can see the shininess on the balloon, but none of these textures are doing it. Hmm. Yeah, none of these textures are doing it. Let's see if we can go to the Wildspire Waste. Yep, it's clear. Let's go there. Just remove the blend and the roughness for now.
Okay. So now that we're here. Ooh. Banbaro. I do not want to play with him. Let's go this way so he doesn't see us. It's a good spot. So, we're going to turn back on blend, roughness, change this to one, and then boom. You can see my little raindrops. I think it's just the Coral Highlands. It just doesn't have the right wetness to it. But you can see everything's a little darker. It's a little wet. Uh, but you can look at the rock. And the rock, it doesn't have that nice wetness texture to it. So what we want to do is we want to change the roughness. We're going to change it to 0.5. And if we can see here, it's a little bit better. We can even go lower to like maybe 10. And you can see it's getting a little bit more shiny. You can see the background. It's starting to sparkle. Everything is sparkling. It's crazy. Maybe let's go even further. Let's go to point. Let's go to zero. And you can see that there's a, there's a little bit of twinkle twinkle everywhere. And if you want to increase the the blend, you can. I, I stop the roughness at 1 because it doesn't really get any rougher than that. So let's uh, update the blend. We're looking at the color. You can see how the hue has changed. And now everything's turning red and dark. So if you leave it at, if you leave it at 2, it, everything pretty much is uh, black as far as the background goes. So you can play it in a really dark, really shiny setting. And it, it's like it's like almost you're on Zora Magnaros. Which is kinda cool. But yeah, that pretty much concludes CC Studio. Uh we can you know explore new new features down the road. Um I'm not sure when I'll be able to release the rail cam. I still have a bit of uh, coding to work on that one. I have it semi-completed, but creating the UI for CC Studio has been kind of the tricky part for you to be able to customize it. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below or you know on the Nexus page, and I'll I'll try to view them. But all right, guys, take care.